So the Raiders, everyone knows, were founded in 1960. And in 1960, they had an assistant head coach named Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman was, in all seriousness, a Marine Raider. And he was wounded three times in World War II. He wore three Purple Hearts. And in 1960, he finds himself with this fledgling professional football team, the Oakland Raiders. He stood up at a meeting and said, this new team has a bunch of tough guys on it. And they remind me of the tough guys that I served with in World War II. And they were called Marine Raiders. So in the first time since the end of World War II, we now have three Raider battalions again on active duty. And they represent our Special Operations Forces. The Raiders Foundation is the newest foundation. And one of the things that they support are the families of the fallen. And there's another link between the Marines Memorial Club and the Oakland Raiders is uh, to really care for those families who have given uh, a sacrifice that none of us can really comprehend. Hi, my name is Lincoln Kennedy. I'm formerly with the Oakland Raiders and now a part of the Raiders Radio Network. And, you know, growing up in a military family, uh, my dad was a career Navy man. I knew what it was like to see your father go away for long times in deployment and not have as strong a relationship as you would want. But I can only imagine from afar the sacrifice the great men and women of this country do to allow us to have the freedoms to do what we so choose. And I've come to realize, especially as growing up to being an adult, that we really can't take opportunities of giving back to the community, but most notably the military, a level of appreciation. And something sometimes as simple as a handshake, a, a thank you, a, a hug, be able to take a picture. They look up and admire people like me and people like us, former athletes, by what we do because we entertain them. And we definitely admire them for all the sacrifice they've done to allow us to do this. So there's really no cost that a person like me can do to show my appreciation to every man and woman out there serving this great country. Thank you. I really mean it. And from the bottom of our heart, I can't wait for you to come back home. And we'll try to entertain you when you do. You leave that up to us. But in the meantime, take care of yourself. God bless.